Addis Ababa, Ababa, Addis Ababa, I think is how you're supposed to say it. Uh, but then something happened in Paris airport. My buddy's there, Uros Mitic, he's a Serbian, he's there, and he said there was a lot of troops out around the airport in Paris, so maybe that's why it was delayed. But anyway, the, the lady at the ticket counter, she saw that I wasn't going to make my connection flight in Paris, so she rerouted me to Rome. So I went from Rome to here to Addis Ababa, and I got here at 7 o'clock. 6.40 a.m. Ethiopia time, and they're two hours ahead of Serbia time. Uh, but get here, my luggage is nowhere to be found. So that's a mess, because all I brought with me is this little green backpack that I was bringing, my laptop, my camera's in it, this in it. And uh, so I don't know, they gave me like a card to call. Uh, went up, took forever to get an answer. Jesus, you go in. it's. It, the way I can describe this country so far is chaotic. No offense, I don't mean anything by it, but it's just different. Lots of people wandering around, bumping around into you. The, I, I come out of the uh, Ethiopian, the Bole International Airport. I come out of the airport and uh, there was taxi drivers nailing you. Hey, you need a taxi, taxi. A guy was holding up my sign, he didn't speak English. But a real nice guy, and he took me here for the shuttle. But check out my room. I think it's really nice. I got this big balcony. I'm on the sixth floor. And this is Addis Ababa. And this is somewhat of a, a little quieter street. And man, I'll tell you what, I'm the only white guy. I, I just walked around for a minute, and I'm the only white man in this part of town. So I know how minorities feel something you'll notice and I read about it see those like right there there's a lot of lot of lot of lot of they said they're the cheap method of getting around here in Ethiopia and there's Tito Street somewhere up in here uh, I saw that they was big uh, fans of Tito but anyway I'm on the sixth floor really nice hotel man 40 bucks a night which my Ethiopian friends was thought was kind of high but it's nice look at that I got a little chair out here. The Th thing I've noticed is the internet in here is not good at all. Everything I read about Ethiopia said that same thing. This is my room. Nice big screen TV. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here, but the lights are on, but you can't see. But it's all made of wood. Really nice. Something I noticed that was different. Uh, thank God it's got the same electrical things, but I thought that was kind of interesting. <laughs> There's a little bit of a water leak down here. A little bit up there. They still have water heaters here and a bathtub. So, and they just flung the shower curtain over there. But anyway, other than that, it's nice. And they let me check in really early. It's like eight o'clock in the morning, eight something. What time is it? Oops, sorry, it's nine. And they let me check in early. They were really nice. Really friendly, hospitable people. But anyway, friends, that's it. 
I'm going to go try to get something to eat. And man, I got to be careful because I didn't get any immunizations or anything. Uh, like yellow fever, malaria, but this is the third highest capital in the whole wide world, elevation-wise. We're way, way up in the hills. So they say malaria is not a major concern here, but uh, they do have problems with other things, hepatitis, yellow fever, and things like that. So they said this time of year, I shouldn't have it uh, way up in the heights here in Addis Ababa, I shouldn't have anything to worry about malaria. So I'm gonna keep my door shut, and hopefully I don't get bit. And in a little bit, a uh, Facebook friend is going to come and meet me. And then tomorrow I'm going to my buddy's house. Hopefully I get my damn luggage. They said it's supposed to be here if they find it. Uh, but I hope it does because I don't have any clothes. But tomorrow I'm going to a little place called Adama. Adama, sorry. Uh, or Nazareth. It's known as. And it's about two hours from here. And another friend of mine lives there. And I'm going to go see his mother and father and little nephew. I consider him my nephew. He's a cute little kid. I've seen him grow up uh, through pictures forever. So I'm going to go down and spend my birthday. Tomorrow's my birthday. So it'll be exciting. Anyway, my friends, that's a little look at Ethiopia. And I'm going to get off here, get some food. I don't know what I should eat and if it's going to make me sick, you know? I'm kind of nervous about that. <clears throat> Drinking the water and, and, and stuff like that. So i got to be careful where I eat. Everything I read said like the little food stands and stuff on the side streets are good, but I'm kind of scared I'm going to get the shits or something, you know? Anyway, friends, that's it from Ethiopia. Go be chill.